welcome back to the channel. We finally got the car on the road. We ran into some rain, some weather and stuff, and I just I got busy with my schedule, but I wanted to get the car out on the road to give you sort of my initial impressions, my first reactions to the Z1 Motorsports rear diff bushing kit for the Q50, Q60. You guys know we've long awaited this upgrade. A lot of us have failed diff bushings now at this point, and I gotta tell you, if you watch that installation video, you can see it's not an easy project to take on, but with the installation guide that Z1 Motorsports has available and, and using my video, of course, as a guide, I think you can handle this project. Uh, just be prepared for what you're getting into. Watch that video a couple of times and read through those instructions thoroughly before you pursue the project yourself. Uh, but I think I think this is a winner. I think this is this is going to be a good upgrade for us. So there's a good test right there, running over the railroad tracks. So I'm just driving a little bit around the area. I haven't really gotten the car up to speed yet. Uh, we want to get it on the interstate, but I just want to do some around the neighborhood driving, get on some of these poor roads, and just kind of listen for some weird noises, both due to my installation procedures, just to make sure I did everything correctly and didn't forget any bolts or anything of that nature, um, but just to get a feel for the difference that this rear div bushing makes in the overall drivability and the overall comfort uh, of this Q50. Now, a lot of people have asked me, how's the NVH, the noise, vibration, and the harshness? And some of this is a little bit subjective. Uh, if you're somebody that's driven race cars in the past that are really stripped down and have solid motor mounts and solid trans mounts and things of that nature, uh, you know, your feeling for what is harsh is going to be totally different from somebody who's used to driving a Q50. Maybe a Q50 from the factory was their first vehicle and it's sort of luxury inspired and it feels good, it's nice and cushy and then they install stuff like this and they're like, well I can't handle the vibration or they put an aftermarket exhaust on and they're like, oh my ears are ringing from the drone at 2,000 and 2,100 RPM. It's like a lot of us are like, there's nothing, this is, this is perfect and some people are like, I can't handle it. So I want to try to pay attention to some of the potential vibrations, some of the feelings going over these bumps. Can I feel the harshness in the road, some of the um, imperfections in the asphalt and in the pavement, and just, again, some of the noises that might be due to my installation. So far, so good. We'll pay a little bit closer attention to some vibration once we get out on the interstate, because it seems like that's where it bothers people when you're cruising at 50, 60, 70 miles an hour, and you're feeling that, that the vibration due to the road and the surface of the asphalt. Um, but just driving around town, uh, I can feel a little additional rigidity, particularly when you leave the driveway or you enter a, a parking lot like this and going around corners, I can feel a little bit of additional rigidity. I, I would actually liken it to when I installed the rear diff brace from Z1 Motorsports. Now, if you guys remember on my installation video, I left that brace off just for these testing purposes. I didn't want any influence from that diff brace. Um, so I'm just driving with the diff bushing kit in right now and it feels exactly how it did. That's what I'll say. It feels exactly how it did when I first installed that diff brace. And eventually driving on it, you just don't even notice the difference. And it's not crazy. It's not a crazy difference. It's just a little bit of additional rigidity. It's all I can, it's all, the only way I can describe it really. It's not like you feel it and you're like, oh man, that's annoying. It's just like, oh, okay. There's something a little bit different. The car does feel planted. Um, my front tires are a little bit worn out, so my car's felt a little bit weird lately. And I haven't driven it much. I've been driving my wife's Explorer a lot. We're commuting to work together now. Carpooling to work, I should say. But yeah, there's another good one over the railroad tracks. No weird noises. Um, I will say that the bushings themselves, the poly bushings are a lot softer than I was expecting. Expecting them to be a little bit more, almost like, like a nylon bushing. You know, I've felt poly bushings before, but these actually have a little bit of squish to them, particularly the forward bushings. They're pretty soft. Uh, so they, I, they're really absorbing a lot of the energy that you would get from these imperfections in the road. But they're still firm enough to give you that sort of planted, more of a stiff feeling. Now this should help us. This should help us put some put some torque to the ground. Certainly, way better than those failed bushings that all of us are dealing with now. I'm a little bit afraid to launch the car. I'm gonna be honest, but but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> all right, here we are. Just a little one. Just a little one. Oh. If you 
guys have been following along, you know we have that Traction Concepts LSD kit installed too, so I'm really nervous in launching the car. But heard some metal noise in the back of the car when I forgot that I have test pipes in the trunk. Whew. Let's go take a look, see if we got both tires spinning. See if that Traction Concepts LSD kit's working. Check out my initial impressions video too that I posted if you guys are interested in that. That should have been uploaded just before this video, so just check the previous one. See if we spun both here. Um, we're gonna do some more throw testing on this rear diff bushing kit. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of get a couple little clips here today. So uh, we'll see it in action, but I want to give it some time to wear in. I want to put a few miles on it and then we'll revisit this and see. I think I launched them right here. But it's not leaving any marks, no marks, but we're definitely spinning the tire. So we should be able to see uh, if the rear diff bushing is flexing or if there's if it's holding its own. Get on the interstate, see if we can feel any of that MVH or get a feeling for what kind of noise and vibration we might experience. Again, I just liken it to how it felt with the rear diff brace on. Absolutely no vibration. I'm not feeling any vibration. And there's certainly no weird noises or anything unusual inside the cabin, and that's what worries a lot of people the most. And we'll take her on the interstate a couple more times and see if we can see if we notice anything, but huh. So first impression guys, number one, seems like it did an okay job with the installation. No weird noises, no clinking, no clanging, no binding, no grinding. It's all we could hope for in terms of my capabilities. Uh, number two. Pleasantly surprised. Um, no in-cabin noises or vibration that are out of the ordinary. Uh, we did a couple of launches. I know it's wet and the tires are spinning pretty easily, but absolutely no sign of wheel hop whatsoever. Uh, just a slight touch of increased rigidity in the rear end, but that's what we're looking for with these poly diff bushings. This is not a factory replacement diff bushing. This is an upgrade. This is an upgrade. Although it replaces failed rear diff bushings, it's technically an upgrade in terms of performance uh, for your rear end. So it's gonna keep us a little bit more planted, gonna prevent that wheel hop, and gonna help us more effectively put that torque to the ground when we're trying to launch and come out hard uh, from corners. So like I said before, the installation, it's not easy guys, it's not easy, but uh, it's not that it's technically difficult, like rebuilding an engine. It's just hard because it's hard work. You have to pull the rear end um, and you gotta pull those axles out uh, and you really gotta dig that rear diff bushing out. So it's, it's challenging in the effort that it takes. It's not challenging in the knowledge necessarily that it requires. So you just gotta be careful, take your time. Again, follow the instructions uh, and use my video as a guide, but a guide only. It is not a perfect how-to by any means, but we obviously got the job done. And uh, fingers crossed, we did a good job. But my initial impressions, my first reaction uh, to the rear diff bushing by Z1 Motorsports is that I am pleasantly surprised and quite pleased. The car feels good, it does feel planted, but I'm excited to get this car out now on some dry pavement and really test this diff bushing out along with the Traction Concepts LSD conversion kit. So I hope you guys will follow along. More good stuff to come. And we're gonna see if this, um, we're gonna see if these products are actually worth it or not. 250 something bucks for the rear diff bushing set or around 500 and something dollars for the complete kit for the uh, subframe bushing collars for the diff brace and for the diff bushing kit but that is all i got for you guys today i thank you very much for watching i appreciate the continued support if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section below I'll certainly get to them as quickly as i possibly can thanks again for watching see you in the next one